What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. So we're just doing a quick video today on the new features of V2.6 and we're going to show you the player progression, right? So they, they have announced this obviously with the player progression here, introducing progression points. I'm going to show you in real time how it actually works um, and then we'll show you an example with um, one of the players that we're going to reset here, right? So we are in our road to glory and this is what they say about the regression or the progression points allocation reset, okay? So these can be reset by spending GP. Resets can be performed in the following menus. My team, player, select player, player actions, player progression, and reset the player, okay? Now, there is a trial period ongoing from now until the 28th of September. So we've got about three months to test out this and get your squad pretty much bang on before they start charging GP. I'm going to show you all of that in a second, right? So we're going to navigate over here to my team. And once we go into my team, we go into my players. We're going to just sort this very, very quickly by our overall rating to get our best players in. OK, so say, for example, I have trained up a player maxed out. OK, we'll take Jude Bellingham for an example. I have trained up Jude Bellingham. This is a highlight showtime Jude Bellingham. And as you can see here in his player progression, we have got this new functiona functionality functionality now. So at current, uh, Bellingham, I have trained him up uh, to level 24. You can see here on his card, he is a level 24 out of 29, okay? So I've got another 10,000 XP that I can put in there. I've got a couple of 4,000 ones that I can use up as well. And then we're going to go the rest of the way with him, okay? If we want to train him up max. But let's say, for example, okay, that you have trained Bellingham and you're thinking to yourself... Listen, originally when I trained Bellingham, or originally when I trained another player, insert whichever player that you have there, I put too much speed on him, or I didn't put enough passing on him, or I didn't put this on him, or I wanted him to be a little bit less defensive, or I wanted him to be more defensive, okay? So this is what they've introduced to this, is the player progression, reset player progression. Now, all it does, okay, is it keeps everything that you have pumped into the player, training-wise, XP-wise, but what it does is it lets you reset the stats and the progression points that you have already put in, okay? So you'll see here that I have zero out of zero progression points and he is level 94. When I reset the player progression, you will get a menu that pops up that will say that it is going to cost 450,000 GP to reset the player's progression, okay? To re reset the player what I've trained him. But when I actually go into this, it will go and uh, it'll allow me to do it for free because we have the period, the trial period to go. Instead of it costing 450,000, it's going to cost uh, zero. OK, now I'm going to show you something, right? If I go back out here and I was to train up here, well, I'll show you and I'll show you in a second. Uh, if I used to go back out here and I just press reset, it puts it back. It's going to cost me nothing. Now I've got 46 out of 46 progression points and Bellingham is back at an 85 so now I can train up his stats any way I want again it doesn't really make a difference what way I can max out his dexterity um, I can train him up in a very different way if I want to um, if I want to go that route with him so whatever way you want to train him up you now can uh, I think it's cool I think it's cool I think it's going to be something that people have a lot of use with um, especially for me right for me with Bellingham defensively I'm probably not going to play him defensively if I wanted to go defensive I could um I could go with the tackling and I could go with the aggression if I want to go that route but I'm probably going to go actually um a little bit more a little bit less passing or more passing um because I don't have him maxed out and I'm going to probably go a little bit less on everything else so stamina speed all of that stuff I'm probably going to go a little bit more on the passing uh because he obviously has that game change and pass and I want to go a little bit more defensively as well. If I want to go that route, he's got 88 tackling there, which is more than enough for him. And then the rest are going to go into dribbling. So I still get a 94 player um, and I can train him up, right? So when I use these points now, it's going to train up the player again. And look, I can go back in here. I can reset him as many times as I want. Now, this is going to cost money and or cost GP when the actual trial period is over. Now, I'm also going to show you something else, right? So a lot of people have been asking me this as well. If I train up Bellingham to level 29, okay, instead of level 24, which we saw there, I'm going to train him up here. All right, so he's at level 29 now. And I'm going to train him up here to max him out, okay? And I'm going to put in those player progressions. I'm going to max out his stats here. So I'm going to leave the shooting as is. I'm going to put the passing up another two. And then we're also going to put up 
Um, say, let me see if we put up aerial strength. Okay, so we'll put up aerial strength to 78, and then we'll pop one more into, let's just say, aerial strength again. Okay, so let's just say we put him at that. If I use these points and I develop him up fully, he's going to go to a 96 overall. Now when I go in to reset the player progression, um, you're going to see that the GP is still the same. So this GP, people have been asking me, how is it set? It seems to be set on the valuation of the player, right? So if I reset his, his card again, I can continue to do that and I can train up different versions of him. So from here until September, I could effectively make 6, 7, 20 different versions of Bellingham and find that perfect mix for me with a lot of trial and error if I wanted to do that, right? But say, for example, that I want to retrain somebody like, um, I don't know, let me see, like Evan Ferguson, okay? So Evan Ferguson is just a, pl a player that I bought. He was really, really cheap. If I go into player progression with him and I reset it, it's only going to cost me a 1,700 GP, okay? So it seems to be tied. Obviously, we'll know more about this when they do get it out of trial mode, but Neymar is also only got three levels, and when I go to reset his progression, I can't do it, because I haven't anything trained into it. But if I pop it onto the shooting, say for example, and use those points, okay, and then go back in, even though he's only at level 87, if I go in to reset it, it's going to cost me 330,000. So it seems to be tied by um, the way that the player is trained up and with the level system and how high they go ranking wise, right? So the same thing here, you can see um, for our players, you can take the likes of Musiala. Uh, Musiala was a standard player that we bought. If I was to reset his, it's going to cost 99,000, even though he's a level 90 overall, okay? So there is a lot to probably um, think about what you're going to do when you are training these players when it starts costing you GP. At the moment, it's not going to be a big issue. You can see up in Meccano there, the free version of him, he costs 130,000 GP. Um, so we'll just do one more uh, just while we're here. If we were to retrain Musiala, you simply go in, player progression, reset player progression, cost you nothing, you go back, and then you can train him up again. So for example, if I wanted to have a maxed out dribbling Musiala with nothing else or anything like that, I can train him. If I want to auto allocate and put it in and see where the stats go, I can do that. So for me, lads, look, it's a big inclusion for me, in my opinion. Um, I think that it's a good thing that they've done. I don't need shooting with Musiala. We do need low pass and we probably do need a little bit more dexterity as well to get that to the 90 and to get the balance up as high as we can possibly go as well. Um, or maybe into that if we wanted to. That's probably a better version of him than I had, even though the team play style is lacking a fraction there um, of where we we would want it. Um, we could go the lower body 78. Yeah, we'd probably go with that. And then the team play style proficiency. But the thing about this is that I like, lads, is that say, for example, you've got a lot of players that you have trained up for a certain play style. You can literally retrain them for free until September. Uh, and then put them into a playstyle that you're more happy with now. So that's just a quick video on that, lads. I will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll be back soon. Peace.